Hi, this is Anthony Martin. Hi, Gary Martin. Uh, I've been a part of Salem Acres for the last six years and have taken on a variety of roles. Uh, this last summer, I was the program director. Um, but, I'm, you know, I help out with whatever cat needs. I've done everything from uh, cleaning the toilets to retreats to church promotions uh, to building uh, some of the, the cabins and the, and the chapels and things like that. Uh, I've really appreciated the different variety and, and my temple. Hi. Well, I'm the new guy. I'm, uh, I've been here one year now, and um, I'm the facilities coordinator, which basically means I'm the maintenance guy with paperwork. And um, I have to say, I have, I have really no camp experience uh, other than attending when I was much, much younger, a couple years. Uh, I've, I've come away from the, the one year round, round trip, shall we say, the full experience of being um, camp is more than I expected. In a lot of ways, it, it, there's more going on here, and I appreciate uh, how powerful camp is as a as an outreach ministry in North America more than I did when I started. So it's been good. Uh, we have a lot of people that ask questions: uh, Where does the money go? What does it get used for? And uh, just to answer that question is, uh, we use money year round for a lot of different things. If you've set foot on Salem Acres um, in the last six years, it probably looked different six months from the last time you stepped on site. We've done tons of renovations. Uh, we're sitting in the new chapel, which happened uh, five years ago. Uh, we have the new cabins next door to us, which was the old chapel. Uh, we've put roofs on to a lot of the buildings. We've had to dig up the sewer a few times and replace different sections of that. And just kind of overall upkeep of the camp as well. There's been a lot of things that are kind of high ticket items that needed to be replaced. Otherwise the buildings would probably be condemned. Um, and we're continuing that upkeep as well with our boilers, with our furnaces. And then there's still, there's still lots more to do. So uh, money goes towards the upkeep of the facility, uh, continuing to grow it, make it better and, and continuing to expand it too. And another thing that we're using funds for is in the summer, we offer subsidies for families who cannot afford to come to camp. We never want money to be a reason that somebody cannot experience camp, uh, that they wouldn't be able to have you know, the opportunity to accept Christ. And so uh, we uh, we always take people. Uh, so donation dollars goes towards subsidizing the summer program uh, and allowing people to come here to take that stress out of their life and uh, allow the good work of our Lord uh, to continue. Yeah, I think there's a, uh, I think it's a, an assumption perhaps that just people aren't, aren't quite aware that, um, you know, you have X number of campers and, and we also, you know, do a lot of retreats. It's a really, really busy place in the summer. Doesn't, doesn't that, does that not generate enough, enough money to operate all year round? And the answer is no. If you do the math and if you look at our budget, you'd, you'd soon realize that uh, we require donations. Uh, we've, we've applied for various grants from, at various levels of, of government, and and, uh, and we have some churches that really help us out. But there's no way that uh, that we can pay operating costs, let alone maintenance or capital improvements to the buildings, new buildings. There's just not enough uh, funds there uh, from just the camper fees and from retreats. We need we need a, a broader base of support. Uh, we need people to uh, to believe in what we're doing and to come alongside us, and and as a community. Keep camp going.